Hi, I'm Naishad Gadani, a career and personal branding coach who has helped more than 2,500 job seekers find work. Did you know that it takes less than 7 seconds for someone to form an opinion of you? You would not have even said a word at the time. Yes, non-verbal communication plays an important role in a job interview. So in this video, I'm going to take you through a class on grammar. No, not the boring kind at school. I'm going to talk about a grammar of body language. These tips may very well help you land your dream job. So let's meet Bob. He's attending an interview today. We will see how he goes. Hi, Bob. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Uh, let's just get you here. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, in the five years I've been in the industry, uh, I've gained lots of knowledge and experience. Um, and I really believe that my skill set and my qualifications would be perfect for this position. All right. Um, tell me about your last job. I started my role when I was at university. Um, there was a lot to learn, but through my dedication and hard work, I was able to develop some key knowledge in our systems and processes. And why did you decide to leave this role? I feel I achieved as much as I could in that position. Um, I'm looking to continue my learning and development in this field in a more challenging role. Uh, so sorry, I didn't quite catch the last bit of that. I feel I achieved as much as I could in the previous position um, and I'm looking at learning and developing in this field and in a more challenging role. All right, well, I've just got one more question for you. Have you been involved in any kind of conflict at work and how did you go about resolving it? Yes, a former colleague was disrespectful to my team leader, who I looked up to as a leader and a mentor. Now look, I'm not an aggressive person by nature, which is rare in this industry. <laughs> but I stood up for her in a diplomatic way and I suggested we attend training on conflict resolution. Right, fascinating. Well, I'll be in touch. I'll show you out. Great, thanks. Oh no, poor Bob seemed to have struggled through that one. According to research, 90% of communication is non-verbal and only 10% is what we say. This means your body language speaks louder than words. Frequently, what we say and our body language are not in sync. So let's revisit Bob and suggest few minor changes. Take a deep breath before you enter the interview room and smile. The handshake is an important point of contact. If it's too casual, it can be seen as a sign of nervousness or lack of confidence. On the other hand, a bone-crushing handshake could be interpreted as an act of dominance or indifference. Offer a firm, confident handshake. Respect personal space. Maintain an arm's length distance. Being too close to the interviewer can be intimidating and awkward. Okay, Bob, tell me a little bit about yourself. Not maintaining eye contact shows poor confidence. It may also appear like you're hiding something. You don't have to stare. Just keep an eye contact. And tell me about your last job. Lean forward to show you are interested and attentive. Leaning too far back in the chair or folding your arms are signs that you lack interest. Great. So why did you decide to leave that role? I feel I'd achieved as much as I could in that position. Um, and I'm looking to continue learning and developing in this field in a more challenging role. Great. So I've just got one more question for you. Have you been involved in any kind of conflict at work? And how did you go about resolving it? Yes, uh, a former colleague was disrespectful to my team leader, who I look up to as a leader and a mentor. Pointing a finger at someone is a sign of aggressiveness. This is a big no-no. If you want to make a point, Look, be not assertive, aggressive not aggressive. In this industry. But I stood up for her in a diplomatic way uh, and suggested we attend training on conflict resolution. Oh, excellent. 
Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, I'll be in touch. Let me show you up. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Not a problem. Thanks. Thanks so much for the tips, Nation. Anytime, Bob. See, a few minor changes can make all the difference. Did you notice that Bob gave exactly the same answers he did in the first interview, but the way he presented himself left a much more positive impression. Attending an interview is a stressful experience for a lot of us, and our bodies respond to stress. It's normal, but you can develop ways to relieve the stress and put your best self forward. One of the easiest stress reliever is deep breathing. It allows you to relax, focus and can bring you to the present moment. So when you are meeting your next potential employer or client or business contact, remember these pointers. I am Naishad Gadani and thank you for watching.